that's my favorite kind of song is like happy sad when you're like on the dance floor raving but then you're like oh hang on a minute <laughs> Dublin's F and Four. It is the strawberry alarm clock, and we can now speak to Jade. Jade, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Angel of my dreams, balloons. I love it. <laughs> Thank oh, my boyfriend got me these. Oh, sweet. It That's nice. Now. There we go. He threw a bit of money at it. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> no expense spared in this household. Jade, it sounds this song, Angel of My Dreams, sounds like you know you sat down with your team and they said. Uh, what you want to do for your first single? And you said, everything. I want to hit them with everything. Is that what happened? Correct. Yeah. Uh, literally correct. It's <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, I went in the session and Mike Sabbath, who produced the track, he's incredible. Um, I was like, can we change the tempo? Can we pitch the vocal up? Can we make it sound a bit like Motown, but also a bit like Cascada? And he went, yeah. And then that was that. <laughs> Hang on, throwing a bit of cascada yes. in there. Yeah. Like, what a retro, amazing act. She's incredible. Yeah, I, I'm from that era of like Clubland Classics, Scooter, Bass Hunter, DJ Sammy, Flippin' yes. Films. So, yeah, that's kind of, that was definitely a reference for this track. And actually, when you say that now, with, with your voice, with your vocal pitched up, it's a bit DJ Cami ish. I'm like, oh, yeah, exactly. I hear it now. That's yeah. a throwback yes. and yeah. a half. Yeah. I feel like so it'd be it's like Mike's from America, so he obviously wasn't privy to that era of music. So that I was in the session, like playing him all these songs, like listen to this. You don't understand. This was such a huge era, and like you know, I guess European music. And he was like, "Oh my god, this is so sick!" So it was interesting showing someone the world of Clubland for the first time. It reminded me the first time I heard the first time I ever heard "Sexy Back" by Timberlake. It, th- it gave me that kind of, it was like, this is mad, but it's genius mad. So I'm going to love this by but the second time I hear it. This is, this is brilliant. Thank you. No, I appreciate that. I definitely, I knew it was a bit risky dropping a song like this, but just seeing the reaction has been insane. I, I really thought it would be more of like a Marmite track where people would either love it or just be like, I don't get this at all. So to have had this like positive response has been yeah, amazing. Oh, well, here, a lot of the comments that I've seen, people have said, like, this is how you do a debut single. And other people are like, she's come out swinging. So I think you've definitely won <laughs> over all the fans for this. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I don't know how to do anything, like, half, oh, I can't swear, can I? But you know what I mean. Oh, fuck <laughs> it, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll bleep it out, James. Swear him a bleep it, it'll feel good. <laughs> half fast. I can't do anything half fast. Like, it has to be, I'm a dramatic, theatrical person, so that's that's what I have to do always, you know? Are you ready for a bit of cuteness here? So at the very start of the track, it's a, a tiny sample of Puppet on a String. The guy yeah. who wrote that won, did he win the Eurovision in Ireland back in the day, Phil Coulter? Oh, he's like a He'd be a legendary he's Irish like, act. Yeah. His yeah. He tweeted yesterday, never saw this coming, heard about it from one of my grandkids, super excited. She tells me today it's gone straight into number two in the charts. Does this mean I'm in danger of being cool at oh. this advanced stage? <laughs> yep. Oh. Yes, it does. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's insane. I think, um, well, it's, it's lovely, isn't it, that the people that I've sampled are, are a fan of the track and are happy with it. You know, I really, I hope that I did it in a respectful way or in a way that brought it into, you know, our era of music. I've loved that song ever since I was little. It reminds me of like my nana and granda. It reminds me of, you know, watching New Revision as a kid. And obviously the title was was kind of perfect for the concept of my song. Um, so yeah, it's what a lovely response. And also Sandy Shaw messaged me like, praising the song and seeing how much she loves it. So um, I couldn't be happier with their response. Oh, wow. When you were little, Jade, what was your hairbrush in your room? Pretend you're a pop star because everyone starts off pretending and then it, it gets yeah. real. Uh, well, not for everyone, for for, for you but and for Zane up here. <laughs> so what, what was your song? Well, I think I've always been quite an old soul. Um, so Motown was my, my favourite genre as a little girl. I thought my mum was Diana Ross because she literally looked like her. She had all the big, like, long, bushy hair. Um, and so 
I'd go to like school discos and I'd, instead of wearing what all the other kids were wearing, I'd get my mom to make me like a chiffon gown <laughs> for, the, wow. for the school disco. So I guess from the off, I was always into the kind of pop divas doing the most, the feather boas and the sequins. Um, so yeah, I would say Motown was the main thing. But I, like all little girls of that time, like I loved like girl bands, boy bands, um, you know, Spice Girls. Hmm. Yeah. And here, anyone that knows you knows that you love dressing up. Like you, like if you haven't seen how Jade does Halloween, wow, 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 she doesn't do it in halves. So then this music video wasn't a surprise to us when we saw the amount of looks. Like, did I count nine different looks? Nine, I think it might be 11 actually. Ooh. I'm trying to remember. A lot of looks, yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, like you say, I just love it. I love costumes. I love dressing up. Why not? Do you know what I mean? Um, and it was such a fun video, obviously, creating multiple versions of myself, all these different Jade characters. We had a four-day shoot, so I had enough time to, yeah, fit as many costumes and outfits in as possible. Um, and as a pop fan myself, like, that's what I want to see. I want to see all these looks and I want to see all the theatrics. So, yeah. What is the link between you and Fontaine's DC? There's so, we're going, they're Dublin lads. Yeah. We need to know what was the crack between you. you. Know. Well, it just, it kind of organically happened. My, my boyfriend, Jordan, he's already friends with um, Carlos and a couple of the guys from Fontaine's DC. It was just a strange coincidence. We ended up with the same video director, Org Perry, who is incredible. Um, and he was shooting the Starburst, a music video, and basically Green kind of is kind of put in this multiverse where he appears and not just in my video, he's in other things as well that I think the fans haven't even clocked yet. Um, and yeah, Orb suggested Green appearing in my video and me appearing in theirs. And I was like, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Genius. And I love that we're worlds apart clearly as artists, you know, um, and that's why nobody clocked it. I, I was in his video for months and the fans didn't even realize. And I think that's pretty cool. Wow. That is very, very cool. Yeah. Um, Jade, I'm a huge believer in manifesting, right? I'm working very hard at manifesting myself a yacht. It hasn't happened yet. But um, when it comes to manifesting, who would you manifest? Who would be your dream collab? If you could put it out there in the universe. Like I know that you've worked with Ray and Tovlo for this album. But apart from them, who would you love to work with? Oh my gosh. I mean... If we're talking like ultimate, ultimate, ultimate goal, yeah, like huge, uh, 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 is Ooh. is my queen. You know? Oh, and here, and you can fully hear some Gaga in this song. I feel, yeah, can hear the nods. Uh, I'm, I'm actually. Some people say like, "Oh, do you want to hear people saying it?" Sounds. Like, I'm like, no, I love it. Like when people said, like, tell me what they're thinking of when they hear the song. I'm like, absolutely, like. What, what an honour to be likened to artists as amazing as that. Do you know what I mean? There you go. We're putting it out there in the universe. In I, the universe? In the universe. Come on, let's I, go. I saw you quote Instagram or whatever you call that. A picture of some fella in, <laughs> he was in his shower and all of a sudden he started singing the song and the rain was going down and he was wearing his <laughs> night robe. That's what I feel this song is, that people want to be crying in the rain, singing and hating somebody on it. It's good. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm loving seeing all of the TikToks and all the like Instagram reels and videos of people's reactions to the song. Yeah, like you say, it's a very dramatic song, so it needs, you know, it, it's quite a sad song as well. Like when you break it down, it's quite a tragic song. And I, I am um, busy working on a, a slow down version of it too, just to kind of show people the true meaning behind it. Um, and you're right, that's my favorite kind of song is like happy, sad when you're like, on the dance floor raving but then you're like oh hang on a minute this is <laughs> it's yeah. like it's like you it's like your chiffon dress when you were a kid you've arrived in a chiffon dress again with this song that's what's going on here you know what is i really am and this has been a theme throughout this whole album actually is like feeding little jade like my younger self what would she be proud of what would she love to hear obviously in the band i loved that so much and we had such a formula with our music but i think for myself and for my own artistry, yeah, it's about catering to the stuff that I loved listening to growing up um, and kind of merging it all in my own sort of Frankenstein pop way. When you go on tour and eventually you're going to sing the odd little mix song, is there one song you're excited to sing on your own? 
of all the Little Mix songs to go, oh God, I want to sing this part. I mean, definitely Wasabi, Justice for Wasabi always. That was the song that, you know, was kind of a fan favourite and never quite got there as a single and it deserved it. So that one, but also Touch, I feel like oh, yeah. Touch. Oh no, wait, maybe Sweet Melody. Oh, so Sweet like, Melody, yes. please. Yeah. That's my gym song whenever I do go. There's something about yeah. it. <laughs> I might just put the song on and they can sing it and I'll just do the whole... (laughs) Oh my God, yes, please. All the choreo. (laughs) When Robbie Williams uh, went solo, he he just used to do metal versions of Take That songs. So maybe you should do a metal version (laughs) of a Little Mix song. That'd be fun. Let's do it. I always love sort of reworking a song, so I would definitely have to think of a new way of performing it, for sure. Fontaine's DC. Get them to join. There you go. There yes. You go. Gosh, imagine. Yeah. Oh, don't get me started. Because that's a really good idea. There you are. There you go. Hmm. Planting that seed. We're manifesting over here now, Jade. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Right. I watched them perform at Glastonbury, actually, a couple of weeks ago, and they were honestly insane. They're like, cool. They're deadly. Oh, wow. We're very proud of them. Well, look, your song is great. Angel of My Dreams, uh, the new song by Jade, is out now, and it is uh, brilliant. So uh, look, best of luck with it and best of luck with all the new music. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers, Jade. Thanks, Thanks Jade. so much. Thanks, guys. Oh, Talk to you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.